I have Friedrich's attacks here. It's a recessive uh, genetic uh, disorder condition. Yeah. When I was 15, I was at school, um, you know, it was happy and healthy and everything. Um, and then what seemed to me to be quite suddenly, I used to get very tired. Um, and over time, over a short time, I got more and more tired and I used to ache a lot after exercise um, and found exercise so tiring. Um, and people would say, you know, it's growing pains, you know, it's just your body growing and things. Um, and eventually it got to a point where we went to um, the John Radcliffe in Oxford to get tested. Um, and there were the test is 25 years ago now, the tests were very invasive and quite painful. Um, and I had the test and the diagnosis was, you've got Friedrich's attacks here. How it affected my career, it, it, I kind of went um, through lots of sort of equality based wheelchair jobs. Uh, my first job was um, as an access officer um, for a district council. Um, and it was quite funny because I didn't know anything about um, disability or access, but by, because I was in a wheelchair, um, you know, I was kind of that, that I was assumed that, you know, I would be able to do the job and I could, and, you know, and, and now I have an access consultancy actually, and I, I go around taking pictures and, you know, assessing other people's access, but all my jobs were always related to, or uh, had a lot to do with the disability, uh, which after a while I started to think, well, there's more to me, there's more I could do. I want to be more than this. Yeah. And then the opportunity came for me to do a job that had nothing to do with my disability, um, that I couldn't, or well, I, didn't, I didn't need to use my expertise in disability. Um, I, was, I was like a, a landlord looking after council properties. Um, you know, so absolutely nothing to do with this, although I ended up doing a lot of access work, but nothing to do with, um, you know, disability there. So I was kind of ending my career on with a job that didn't uh, pigeonhole me as, um, you know, all the gun in the wheelchair. But towards the end of it, it was, um, I was, I was just, it felt, um, I had, uh, um, we, we had a daughter, um, and I felt that I was either travelling to work, being at work, or travelling back from work, or asleep. Uh, and apart from weekends, that was that was my life, you know. And I thought, this this can't be right. I kind of got into a treadmill of you know doing doing work and everything. And there, uh, I, I the you know Birmingham City Council are always very helpful um, with you know they got me a wheelchair. Um, they used access to work funding to pay for taxis for me to you know get to work and so um, but in the end I, I came to a point um, that it was too much and I, I wanted to um, cut back my hours but instead they said why don't you retire it was it was very good that it was my decision um, you know that I, I chose when to go I think uh, the career and the work can be a treadmill and it's great sort of um, it's a great boost for your self-esteem and your confidence and it's a very important part of your life um, but with a taxi there probably comes a time when with most things that that it's a bit too much and you, you need to um, think about how you can do less or take a step back or move sideways or you know something and I, I found uh, voluntary work um, I, I became a trustee of Taxi UK at about that time um, I'm, I'm sort of involved in lots of in my daughter's school um, I'm involved in a local museum 
this, you know, in Fontuac, um, obviously doesn't pay, so you know it, uh, it isn't it isn't going to be the answer to uh, that. But um, in, in terms of you know a bit of responsibility, a bit of experience, getting out and the social aspect of working, which you need, um, it's a really good way. What are your skills? What can you do? Because um, your experience is valuable. You're an amazing person and you've done all these things and you, you everybody can say um, what makes them special and you know you can use that to uh, you know think think carefully about you know how you can do what you do in your own time.